Now, we can move forward and back, left and right, up and down. Those are the three spatial dimensions. But the time dimension, you don't have access to the past or the future. But let's think this through. How would you imprison a two-dimensional creature? Draw a line. What kind of line? A square. A square. Just draw a square. That's its prison cell. Yeah. But we say, wait, just step up out of it and then you escape. Good to go. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fully locked in. Fully locked in. How do we put us in a cell? We have six walls. All right. A ceiling floor, four walls around us. All right. We think we are completely contained within it. A higher dimensional creature said, just step out and then step back in and you're outside the cell. We said, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Wait a minute. I said a four dimensional creature. If, if we had access to the fourth dimension, which for us is what? Time. Time, but wait, we're prisoners of time. So suppose we weren't prisoners of time. Suppose you could move through time the way we move through space. Could you then escape the prison? Yeah, just move to a time when I'm not in prison. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> just 